This LOS is explained causes of movements along and shifts in aggregate demand and supply curves. Shifts in aggregate demand and supply. So first we're looking at the shifts in the curves. So on the left hand side we've got the shifts in aggregate demand resulting from changes in the following. And the right hand side we've got shifts in aggregate supply resulting from change in the following. So let's look at shifts in aggregate demand first. Um, there's a few uh, reasons why aggregate demand curve can shift. One is household, changes in household wealth. Two, consumer and business expectations. Three, capacity utilization. Four, monetary policy, reserves and interest rates. Five is changes in exchange rate. Six is growth in global economy. And finally, seven is fiscal policy, taxes and government spending. Now, now when we look at shifts in aggregate supply, they can result from a supply of labor, changes in human capital, the quality of labor through training, supply of natural resources, supply of physical capital, or changes in productivity and technology. Okay, we have a table here where we look at an increase in the following factors. We look at the impact, the shift on the uh, aggregate demand curve and the reason why. So an increase in stock prices, that's a right word. A shift in the aggregate demand, why higher consumption? Increase in housing prices is gonna be the same. That's increase in uh, assets equals liabilities plus equity. So you can see here stocks and, and housing prices are assets, you increase the asset. Uh, you're going to increase aggregate demand. There's going to be higher consumption because families have more equity is the way that I like to think about it. Same with consumer confidence. Higher confidence, higher consumption. Higher business uh, confidence. Well, it's, it's higher investment in this case. It's all rightward shifts in aggregate demand. Higher capacity utilization, rightward increase in aggregate demand, higher investment. Increased government spending is a rightward increase in aggregate demand because um, government spending uh, is a component of aggregate demand. Increased taxes though, that's gonna be leftward, decrease aggregate demand, lower consumption. Incre uh, increase bank reserves, that's going to be rightward, increase in uh, aggregate demand. You're gonna have a lower interest rate, higher investment, and uh, possibly higher. Um, increase in exchange rate, foreign currency per unit is gonna be leftward, a decrease in aggregate demand, because you're gonna have lower exports and higher imports. And finally, if you've got higher global growth, as you would expect, uh, rightward increase aggregate demand, okay? Now, I think most of those are fairly common sense. Uh, I don't think that's too difficult to understand. This is not something you need to memorize, you just need to understand it. Now we're gonna look at uh, some shifts in the short run aggregate supply curve. And, um, and we're also gonna look at the long run aggregate supply curve, okay? So we're gonna look at some increases supply of labor, rightward shift to both curves, increase in the resource base. Increase in supply of natural resources, rightward uh, shift to both curves, increase in resource base. Increase in the supply of human capital, again, same reasons. Increase supply of physical capital, the same. And again, this is mostly common sense. Increase in productivity and technology, same impact. Now we get into um, uh, where well, there's some differences here, and this would be uh, one of the areas that you would look for, uh, you know, multiple choice questions, because uh, I think the first five are easy to understand, but now if we look at increase in nominal wages, well, if wages are going up, that's an increase in an input price. You're going to have a in the short run, aggregate supply, a leftward uh, movement, but no impact on the long run. Uh, input prices, again, uh, same as labor, it's gonna be the same impact. Expectation of future prices, though, if you think uh, future prices are gonna rise, then that's a rightward shift in the short run aggregate supply, no impact on the long run aggregate supply. If you have increase in business taxes, that kind of makes sense, you're gonna have a leftward, that's an increase uh, cost. Leftward shift in the short run aggregate supply, no impact on the long run. Increased subsidy, of course it's gonna be rightward. Increase in the exchange rate, um, rightward. In this case, that um, uh, domestic currency made a uh, less expensive. So it's a right, our goods are now cheaper to foreign buyers. So it's gonna be a short run aggregate supply shift to the rightward, uh, no impact in the long run. 
So let's do a quick practice question to check our understanding. Which of the following is most likely to cause the long run aggregate supply curve to shift to the left? A, higher nominal wages, B, a decline in productivity, or C, an increase in corporate taxes? Okay, I don't think that question is too difficult. You can see what they're asking is a shift to the left. And, um, you know, so we could see here that from the text, what we're looking at is a shift to the right, okay? So a shift to the left would just be the opposite. So if we increase productivity, that's a rightward shift. If we decrease productivity, that's gonna be a leftward shift, okay? So again, uh, you don't really need to memorize this table, you just need to understand it. A uh, higher nominal wages, um, <clears throat> we can see nominal wages, uh, and uh, we've gotta be careful here because it's also asking for the long run aggregate supply. So that's an interesting one because higher nominal wages is a leftward shift, but it's the short run aggregate supply, no impact on the long run. So again, if you're talking about long run aggregate su supply shifts to the right or left, these are, there's one, two, three, four, five, the first five items, supply of labor, natural resources, human uh, capital, physical capital, and productivity. When we get to nominal wages, we need to draw the line, and from here down, there's no impact on the long run aggregate supply. So that's the importance of reading the question very carefully. Long run aggregate supply, shifting to the left, it's the decline in the, in the uh, productivity. No, higher nominal wages, no impact in the long run. Similarly down here, taxes, uh, no impact in the long run. So the correct answer is B. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.